Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is actually going to be the second episode of my prep series and I'm gonna be including a few things in this episode. I will update you on my macros and on my cardio for this week now that I'm 19 weeks out. And I'm also going to include my first posing practice that I did with my posing coach. And then lastly, I'm going to be doing a low carb go-to's. So my staples that I use when I'm cutting and I need lower carb options. I have a huge list that I'm going to show you guys and I don't have everything currently bought but I am going to show you up on the screen pictures of the different food items that you can get at a local grocery store to help you reach your low carb goals. All right, so let's get right into the video. And if you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos and the rest of my prep so you can follow me along my journey on my first bodybuilding competition. All right, let's get to it. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off by listing my low carb go-to's and I'm going to be showing you pictures right up here or right up here as to what you will be looking for when you go to the grocery store. I actually had to write it down because there's so many and I didn't want to forget any so I will be looking down at this piece of paper so that I don't forget any so you can have all the low carb options that I like to use when I'm cutting. So. The first one is definitely by a zucchini or a vegetable spiralizer because making zucchini noodles is so easy and you can go to Bed Bath & Beyond and get a spiralizer, spiralizer and I will show you the picture of mine right here that I use and that's super easy. You just spiralize one whole zucchini and you can do anything with it. You can make a stir fry with it with teriyaki or soy sauce. You can add marinara sauce. You can add Alfredo sauce, vodka sauce. There's so much you can do with it and then you just add a protein to it and it's low carb, it's healthy, it's filling and it's great. So that is number one. Number two is these microwavable, steamable um, potatoes. So they are actually, they come in sweet potato and they also come in a variety of like yellow, red potatoes and they take eight minutes. So instead of baking sweet potato, which can take up to an hour depending on the size of the sweet potato that you buy, if you buy this bag, it takes eight minutes. It makes like six potatoes and you can have them for the week. So what I like to do is I pop them in the microwave for those eight minutes and then I will let them cool. I'll peel them and then I'll mash them up and put them in a Tupperware and whenever I need some extra carbs, I'll just scoop them out and they're low carb and easy to make. All right, so the next one is cauliflower fried rice, which is kind of a little bit tricky to make, but not that tricky. It's not as hard as you would expect, especially if you buy cauliflower already chopped up. So a lot of um, supermarkets now sell cauliflower that's already like chopped up finely to a rice type of size in the vegetable aisle. So if you buy that, it makes things a lot easier. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a cauliflower fried rice recipe video because I definitely will do that if you want it. So yeah, just buy cauliflower already pre-mixed and I like to use either low sodium soy sauce or I will use liquid aminos and I'll throw some vegetables in there and make a like a fried rice stir fry and I'll either use egg whites or I'll use whole eggs to make it like a fried rice. All right, so next is this barbecue sauce. I live by this barbecue sauce. There's also low carb ketchup, which you can just find the reduced sugar ketchup in the ketchup aisle, but this barbecue sauce is so good and I put it on almost everything, chicken, turkey, burgers, anything. And it's only three carbs a serving and a serving is pretty, like it's a pretty big amount. So I will put a picture of that right here. Definitely try and look for this in your aisle when you have your condiments because this barbecue sauce is to die for and it's super low carb. All right, so next I have Joseph's Pitas. Josh and I live off of these Joseph Pitas. Like he's right now having like a pizza a day or like two or three pizzas a day where we would just, we use this pita bread to make pizzas because each pita is only nine carbs. So it's really great. You can have like two or three of them and be pretty low carb and you don't have to just make pizzas with them. You can make like a little wrap. You can make a little taco with it. You can do anything with it. 
So these pitas are great. They're high in fiber, high in protein, and I'll put a picture of them right over here. All right, so next are these Quaker mini rice cakes. I know that rice cakes can be pretty boring, but Quaker has so many different options where they make these mini rice cakes in sour cream and onion, cheddar, white cheddar, caramel, apple cinnamon, chocolate, um, barbecue. There's so many different flavors that they make it in, so it's kind of like you're eating chips, but it's a lot lower carb and a lot lower fat. So what I do is if at the end of the day I've reached all of my macros, but I haven't reached my carbs and I don't have any more fat left, and no more protein, I'll have these mini rice cakes because then it's an easy way to just get carbs in. All right. Another great thing is popcorn or chips. They're a little bit higher in carb than the mini rice cakes and higher in fat, but if you can fit them, they're really good. They're an alternative to like kettle cooked or oil chips that like use oil to fry. So these chips are really good. I have them on the side of like my wraps, on the side of my sandwiches, and just as like a little snack sometimes. Uh, let's see pasta zero pasta zero is like a lifesaver it isn't um i wouldn't say it's like amazing it's not ramen noodles but it's pretty close if you know how to season it so pasta zero only has eight carbs for the entire package and if you rinse it off well and use either like marinara sauce or any type of italian sauce or you could even use soy sauce and make it into a stir fry with like asian vegetables and chicken it's really good, you just have to season it. I wouldn't eat pasta zero plain, but it's really good if you're on a low carb diet and you want just like something that's similar to pasta. All right, so another thing is Boom Chicka Pop. It's this popcorn that's lower carb. It is a little bit higher on the fat side, but the carbs are great if you're looking for like a flavorful snack. So what I do is if I'm actually going to the movies, I bring my own snacks because I know that the movie theater can be tempting. And if you're on a specific diet plan, if you're trying to cut down on fat or trying to get a little bit leaner, it's better to get bring your own snacks to the movies. Just throw it in your purse, hide it in there. We all do it and bring your own snack, even bring your own drink. Sometimes I don't wanna spend the money at the movie theater that I just stuff my purse with a drink too. All right, so this next one, I live off this bread. It is amazing, you can do so much with the bread. You can make sandwiches, you can make grilled cheeses, you can make French toast. You can make so much out of this bread and it's called Sarah Lee delightful 45 calorie bread and it's so good like it does not taste like it only has that many calories in it and it's um 18 carbs for two pieces of bread which is amazing so you can have like a stack of four french toast and it's still low carb really good and if you want my french toast recipe definitely let me know in the comments below because i will gladly make that video for you guys all right, let's see, what's next? This list is pretty long, so bear with me. The next thing on here is Power Crunch Bars. So Power Crunch Bars is another snack that I wouldn't really call it a protein bar because it only has 10 grams of protein in it. So that's not really like a hefty amount. It is some protein, but it's not like a protein shake or like chicken or meat or anything like that. But it is super low carb, it is higher on the fat side, but if you're on like a higher fat, lower carb diet, then it works perfectly. I love these, especially for when I'm on the go and I just need something that I can't really warm up in the microwave or I can't eat it while I'm driving. So Power Crunch Bars are great for when I'm driving. I rotate between night shifts and day shifts as a nurse. So when I'm driving home from a night shift, in order to stay awake, I have to be eating something. So I bring a Power Crunch Bar every time and I just eat it while I'm driving and I stay awake. And it's like, helps me fill up before I go to bed when I do get home from my night shift. All right, so the next thing is low carb wraps. So there is a plethora of wraps that you can buy that are low carb. You just really have to pay attention to the like carb intake because you can find wraps that are 40 grams of carbs and then you can find wraps that are only like eight grams of carbs so i'll show you a couple pictures on the sides here of the wraps that i like to buy all right so the last thing on my list is salad dressing there are these um boathouse salad dressings that i love i use them not only on salads but just as like a dipping sauce and these are made out of yogurt so they are low carb and low fat and they're really good. So I will post pictures of those on the side as well. And 
that's it for my low carb options i might have some more but these are all that i could think of i've been trying to write them down as the week went on so that i wouldn't forget any and these are must-haves if you're trying to eat low carb another thing that is easy to fit in when you're low carb is strawberries because strawberries are lower carb than fruits such as bananas and blueberries which are a little higher carb so strawberries are great as well. I like to put them on top of my yogurt or on top of my French toast, which is good if you like have a sweet tooth. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, the last thing is this doesn't really have to do with carbs, but if you want a low calorie maple syrup, I use Walden Farms, which is actually zero calories. So it's great, you can put it on anything. And if you have regular maple syrup, that can get up to 52 grams of carbs for like a tablespoon. So if you use Walden Farms, you will save yourself a lot of calories. And I like to buy it at either Vitamin Shop or on Amazon. Amazon, you can buy it in like bulk. You can buy like a package of six. So I go through it pretty quickly because I like to have pancakes and waffles, as you all know. Hi guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on my prep. My macros and my cardio both stayed the same for my second week of prep. So I'm 19 weeks out, it's week two, and they're just staying the same. I did lose about 0.8 pounds last week, and um, my coach and I discussed it, and like even though I was supposed to lose about a pound, or maybe even a little bit more last week, I didn't, but it's really just because my body is adjusting to the deficit, because it's a pretty hefty deficit from my original macros before I started prep, and I also am doing more cardio, and cardio can actually cause you to retain a little bit of water when you initially bring it on to your body because your body is holding on to the water and it just makes you bloated and sometimes can adjust what you see on the scale. So we decided to keep things the same this week and see how I go. So my starting weight was 137 and that was kind of like a higher weight day for me. Usually I'm 135 but now this week I hit 133.8. So now I'm a little bit more on track and we'll see when I check in with him on Saturday if they're gonna adjust or if they're gonna stay the same for another week. I'm assuming that they're gonna change next week, but we'll see and I will let you know as far as that goes. As far as energy, I feel great. I don't feel fatigued or tired yet. I feel pretty good. It's only week two, so I should be feeling good. And I actually hit a new PR on chest press, which was awesome. So even though I'm on a deficit, it's all about your mindset. Yes, you lose a little bit of strength when you cut, but it's all about mindset. You have to just push yourself as hard as you would have pushed when you were on a higher carb diet. So yeah, things are going great so far. I actually already completed all three cardio sessions that I usually do this week. My third one was today. And then tomorrow I'm going to be doing a refeed. And then Saturday I check in with my coach. So... We'll see how things go, and I will be showing you guys a full day of refeed eating in a future video, so stay tuned for that.
So as you guys just saw, I just completed my first posing session with my posing coach. I will link her Instagram right here. She is a bikini competitor and she's amazing. She actually was a figure competitor for a few years and then she decided to switch over to the bikini route of things and she's amazing. Her posing work is phenomenal. So I decided to use her as a mentor and she taught me a lot this time. She taught me how to kind of make my waist look smaller on stage by the way that I angle my hips and she tried to help me pick what my best front pose would be because there's a couple different things you can do and you can also change which side you do your front pose so she analyzed my front pose and decided what would be best for my figure and then we also discussed um, the back pose and how to transition between poses because you want to look graceful on stage you don't want to like kind of like strut each pose individually like a robot you want to make things flow and transition one pose into another so she really helped me with that and as you guys could see in the video, I wasn't wearing my actual heels that I bought for the stage because they were a little bit too small and I had to return them last week. So I just picked heels that were similar in height and used those for my practice, but I should be receiving my new pair of heels sometime this week. So I'm gonna try and practice posing pretty often. I'm gonna try for like two to three times a week because posing is huge when it comes to stage presence. So I really want to get it down, especially since it's my first time competing and I want to look like I own it up there on stage and I want to compare to the other girls who have probably competed before. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want me to cook any of those recipes that I let you know in the low carb portion of this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and never forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with not only my videos but also my prep and how things are going. So next video, I will be either doing a meal prep or a HIIT workout. We'll see, I haven't decided yet, but stay tuned because I will definitely be doing a whole bunch with this prep series. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, but before you go, follow me on Instagram. Go follow me right here. All right, thank you guys, bye.